Hi, my name's Dave Webb and I'm going to show you the differences between a rib bed and a rock and roll bed. Now there's many rock and roll beds on the market and rock and roll is generic term for a bed that sort of starts out in the seated position and then just pulls out to the flat. Um, however, the rib is actually a manufacturer's brand name and it has various different features that I'm just going to take you through now. So to start off with, it has the contoured seat. So for actually on, in the sitting position, it's very comfortable. And you have headrests that can move up and down. It also has good solid seat belt harnesses. And this particular model has the Isofix fittings for child seats. Now, one of the main benefits of the rib bed is that it folds out and you sleep on the back of it. So you get rid of all the contours and have a flat bed. So you lift this lever up, literally fold it out like so. And then you grab the bar here, dropping this piece down, and then you're in your sort of bed position. You can keep this part in the upright position or you can have it folded right down flat. So you just press the bar at the side there and you can stop it in any position you like. And you have a handy handle that you can bring that up, stop it in that position for example, and it's completely solid. Another benefit to the rib bed is the fact that it gives you this opportunity to have like a parcel shelf here and then plenty of storage underneath. So if you leave, leave this back part of the bed down, obviously you can put your bedding over the back of the seat. Um, I know that people have used them for dogs to sit on there with maybe a dog crate. Um, and then, like I say, you've got all this sort of underneath area that would ordinarily, if you had a rock and roll bed, it'd be right up to the back here. This can also be moved out of the way, like I'll show you now. So I'll just put the camera down for a second. So now I've moved it completely out of the way, as you can see. And then if you want to travel with tall items in the back here, you can do that as well. So it has a lot of flexibility for storage and as a bed system itself. And like I say, it's injection molded foam, which is automotive quality. So it's foam padded on either side, so you sleep on the back and sit on the front. This seat here is what's called a rock and roll bed. Um, and like I say, there's many types of rock and roll bed by, made by many manufacturers. They say, seem to all follow the same principle though, which is basically releasing a lever and taking it from this position to a flat position. As you can see, this one's quite flat here across the body of the seat and the backrest, and the actual headrests are built into the actual cushion themselves. And then when you want to release it and put it into the bed position, you have a lever here that you pull, which releases the bed, and then it comes right the way forward and clicks into place. So it's nice and simple to make into a bed, um, so it takes less operation than the rib bed, for example. Uh, but it doesn't tend to have the flexibility because there's no different positions for it. It's either just this flat or up in the seat position. I'll also show you around from the back so you can see the space that it gives you there as well. So here we have the rock and roll bed at the back. As you can see, it doesn't have the same floor space as the rib bed, although most of them do feature some sort of locker to give you access under the bed. And it doesn't also have that parcel shelf effect or the ability to fold it out the way and travel with high items there. Um, they are simple to use and a lot of camper vans are fitted with them. Um, but they don't have the flexibility of the red bed system. I hope this has been a good overview of the two beds, the rock and roll bed style and the rib bed. Uh, thank you for watching the video and I hope you found it useful.